guys welcome back to my channel or welcome in today's video i'm gonna be showing you what our evening routine is as a solo mum no i am not single and ready to mingle <laughs> she's got a ring on it but my partner dustin works away quite a bit or is out a lot in the evenings. So I am just solo and ready to YOLO the evening away. So yeah, I just thought I would show you what we get up to. To be honest, this is gonna be a realistic evening routine. I've watched some routines on YouTube and some of them, I'm like, huh? <laughs> Seems like they're taking their child to the Olympic games every day. <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna show you what we do. It is very chilled. Yeah, and I'm a first time mum, so this is probably all wrong. <laughs> so don't take advice from me. But what we're doing is working for us. That's all I can say. I love watching Home With Shan's videos. Why did I say that weird? Home With Shan. Home With Shan's videos. Um, I think her evening routines or her routine videos are really good, realistic. Not like some that I've seen. <laughs> I watched a lot of morning routine videos back when I had her and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't getting out of bed till 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and these people had uh, won a gold at the Olympic games by 10 a.m. Are you excited to show me your evening routine? Are you? What is that shocked face for? <laughs> I think you're a little bit tired, aren't you? She's a little bit tired. I did try and get her to go for a little sleep, but she didn't want to. <laughs> as soon as I brought her back out here, she had a big smile on her face. I'm like, okay, you can stay up and I'll wear you out and then you'll be off to bed. It's 5.55, so rolling on 6 o'clock. We've had a busy day. We actually went out to the beach and we had a little stroll on there. It was lovely weather. But I can tell she's tired because her eyebrows are red. Hi, my name's Cameron. Prettiest girl ever. <laughs> Go. Right, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm doing is changing her bedding because... The back of her head is balding, so there's quite a lot of hair sometimes stuck to her bed, so I just like to keep that, you know, in rotation. Hygiene, people! And yes, she is currently in a Moses basket next to our bed, but that is unfortunately going to be changing soon. She's going to be going into her own bedroom. Um, now, I am actually testing out the blackout blind that I got. I actually picked this up off of Facebook Marketplace for a tenner. Love a bargain. So I'm putting it up in the window just because we need some help with our naps because it is too light in here. So I didn't put it up very well because you can see there's a lot of light coming in, but I do fix it later on and it actually worked very well. So I'm impressed for a tenner. And now we're just having some kisses. And now mummy needs a shower. So sometimes I shower in the evenings, sometimes in the mornings. Uh, so today I decided, obviously it was in the evening, and I put her in this little bumbo seat for mamas and papas. And this was the first time that she's really interacted with the play tray thingy above on it. And I thought it was so cute. Now I'm just gonna wash my face, get all clean, um, you know, do a bit of skincare, cause I don't know, don't really have time for that these days. And then I was like, ooh, maybe I have time for some lotions and potions. Uh, but the baby started to get unsettled, so I um, had to rush a little bit. But there we go. I'm like, oh, got to be fast, got to be fast. Do I want lotions and potions or do I want to brush my hair? Should have gone with the hair. But, oh, she's looking fresh. And, oh, and now I'm showing you all the hair that I lost in the shower. Now I'm going to probably lose a lot more because postpartum hair loss is real, really real. Oh, yeah, told ya. Yeah, 
baby wasn't having it anymore. She lasted a really good amount of time, but you know, a baby's a baby. Their attention span is like a baby. So now she's joining me. And that was all my hair that I lost. And finished. Okay, now it is a baby's time for a little bit of a wash, you know, a scrubby dub dub. So I'm setting up her portable bath here. I just prefer this at the minute because, you know, she fits in it and you use a lot less water to fill it so I don't have to run the whole bath. So here I've actually just boiled uh, some water and then I'm just going to top it up with some cold to make sure it's the perfect temperature. And then we're sticking in, oh, the bubble bath. Who doesn't love a good bubble, you know? Give it a good swish around. And then I love this stuff. It's the Johnson's Bedtime Range. Um, and I've got to stick some in there as well, you know? We need help getting her to sleep. So <laughs> thank you, Johnson's. And now I've got her foam bath support and some flannels. I put one under her head, so that's elevated. And then I use one to go over her body to trap in all the warmth. She is so cute. She loves a bath. This is so good to tire them out because they just kick their legs and burn so much energy. Oh, I love it when she holds my hand. So cute. And then we just have a little bit of playtime and we'll go to the salon and I will wash her hair. Oh, who doesn't love a good like scalp rub, you know, when you're at the hair salon? So I try to do that for her. Oh, I'm so excited. I got a little dressing gown today. So after a bath, we can now put that on her. Oh, can't wait. And now we're gonna dry her off and I'm using the Johnson's Bedtime Lotion and the Johnson's Bedtime Talc. Highly recommend, they smell so good. And also, pro tip, if your little one gets a bit fussy while you're trying to get her dressed, stick a dummy in there. And it works. Oh, and she was holding my hand, so I was having to do it one-handed. Oh, so cute. Dustin's gonna hate that the dummy's upside down. <laughs> my bad. Okay, now we are popping all of her lotions and potions. <laughs> back in her bedroom. Oh, she's tired. We're gonna brush her lovely locks. And then we're gonna go over to her story corner and pick a book. So we're actually reading this book called Mummy and Me. I picked it up from Aldi. I read it in the shop and I nearly cried so my hormones <laughs> I was like I gotta get it and um, so yeah this is just our time to you know wind down we have a little story I love watching this back and seeing how like how well she was focused on the story and like how she looked at everything using her little brain so cute and then she wanted to touch the pages and then on the front, it had some like felt detail on it. So she, you know, wanted to have a little touch. And then she loves doing this um, standing thing. So she just loves like, standing on you and yeah. You can probably hear her in the background. She's in her gym for real right now. <laughs> okay, and she was so tired uh, this evening. It was early for her but I think the sea air knocked her out so we got into bed and I gave her her bedtime bottle which would knock her out okay the baby is in bed I am winning at motherhood <laughs> she would usually still be awake but she was just so tired so I thought, let's just get her a bottle in her and let's get her in bed. <laughs> and then I won't be far behind her. Yeah, let me show you what it's like. That blackout blind, I fixed it on the window because I didn't do a very good job when I first put it up. But it's so, but it's so good. It's literally pitch black in there.
now it is time for more to have a little bit of mummy time <laughs> for a little bit of me time so i'm gonna have my dinner now i'm having pad thai that i cooked yesterday so there's no cooking for me tonight and i'm gonna have a glass of wine oh i was so excited for this moment oh and i had on fresh jammies so i was one happy girl now I'm just going to stick on some YouTube and unwind and scoff my face and drown my sorrows. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I do love a glass of wine. I have just been around and you know cleared up a little bit. I've done all my like washing up. There's no all the all the plate to clean, so it's just nice, you know, when you get up in the morning, you've got like a fresh space. So I definitely recommend doing that. <laughs> it is now about quarter to eleven. Cami woke up about quarter past ten. Um, I heard her moaning and groaning in there. She was going to the little lady's room, number two. So I changed her and settled her back down. She is now asleep back in her bed. And yeah, that is gonna be everything for today's video. I'm gonna go get into bed myself because I wanna be asleep before 11 o'clock. <laughs> Hopefully. So that was our evening routine. Um, I'm gonna be doing more of these because it does, you know, kind of differ. Um, we do uh, obviously try and keep some sort of routine, you know, with like timings that she needs to have her last feed and then go to bed. Um, but activities will change. Uh, there are some nights that we don't bath her. She doesn't bath every night. Um, so yeah, I'll do different videos and show you different activities, maybe give you some ideas that you can try with your little ones. That is all for today's video. If you did like today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe or else. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.